We are here actually to support with your business journey. And particularly today, we're going to be talking and launching Time Women Initiative. The main objective of it is to support businesses which are founded or led by women entrepreneurs to showcase their business case studies, not only in this market, but have a chance to talk about them on a global arena as well. Uh, for the whole year, we're going to empower participants of this program with different mentorship clinics, one-on-one uh, -on -one webinars and, and chats, and mentoring, and much more. So stay tuned. My colleague Shamim is going to brief you on that. Thanks to all these phenomenal women. Oh, my God, these stories were so inspiring. Uh, Inji Shalup, thank you so much. And Shivani and Khatija, you have inspired so many women already as well. So I would really like to now talk about 2021 program. And just before I start, I just want to make sure that um, you can see the screen. Yes. Yeah, thank you. Good evening, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I think we can all agree that diversity makes business sense. Diversity in every way enriches our lives, both personally and professionally. But the data out there is so different. It's said that startups with women founded, founders generated 78% revenue for every dollar funded. And this was a BCG study. And another study found that startups with women founders are more capital efficient, returning 35% more compared to male founded ventures. And when we empower women with venture backing, they perform 12% better than male founders. However, the reality is only 2% of all venture dollars are allocated to women-led startups. And that is a huge investment gap that we would like to help fill. And it was with one of that purposes that Thai Women was founded in December 2019 to be able to embrace, engage, and empower women entrepreneurs all over the world. So the vision is, to engage and engage, uh, em embrace and empower women entrepreneurs, irrespective of the size of the enterprise, origin, standing, or background. So it's for every woman entrepreneur that's out there. And we also want to help the entire entrepreneurial journey with solid metrics. The programs that we have created are built on the pillars of learning, mentoring, access to funding, scalability, providing a safe space and a community. That's really what was the purpose of building a series of programs in Thai Women, which we are launching this year. And as I mentioned, it's for the entire entrepreneurial journey is how we have designed these programs for, and a number of them relate to learning and building knowledge. There's one of the other data that's out there is that out of all the SMEs in the world, only 30% are run by women. And the biggest drawback that the women say is that is access to knowledge, networks, and funding. And that's how the programs have been designed. And obviously the global pitch competition as well, which we'll talk about more in detail. So let me just give a very brief about the sample program of Open Mic Night. It's an exciting program for networking and pitching in a safe zone, which is very important to be able to create an environment where women can come in and pitch in a judgment-free environment. And this is for any stage startup. Only thing that is required is oodles of passion and pitch for two minutes and get a specific ask at the end of the pitch. And the ask can be feedback on an idea, asking for a co-founder or for seed funding. The second kind of a program is an active learning workshop. Now, I think in this past year, we have all attended numerous Zoom webinars, which is meant to be for learning sessions, but it has been mostly passive in the most cases where the, the interaction has been maybe limited to a Q&A at the end. But these programs have been designed to build skills in these women. So they come prepared with information related to their business and have a takeaway at the end of it, 
working together collaboratively with other women entrepreneurs and building skills on topics such as uh, cash flow, for example, or um, creating a term sheet um, or um, design thinking. So number of different topics that will relate to any startup at any stage. And the Thai Women Global Pitch Competition is our flagship program. And now in its second year, it's like what Shivani won, it's $100,000 prize money equity free, which is a great way to contribute to the funding of the company. So what does it have? It's for early stage and late stage, less than three years or less than seven years at a late stage. So it's open to companies across all sectors in spite of any industries that you could be in 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 these two areas so i want to just give a brief about the timelines for this program over here so we are launching today and uh, we will be giving out the registration link very soon but we just don't want to open the application and hope for people to just come in and apply. We want to be able to work with these entrepreneurs and prepare them, giving them a better chance to win. So designed actually a series of workshops and one to one clinics during April to June, providing opportunity for many startups who may never have an opportunity to uh, apply helping them through the process, getting them to think about their go-to-market strategy, getting them to think about how to um, get a term sheet done, and a number of business as well as legal aspects of their work as well. And then they go back to their businesses, relook at it, then be able to put in an application. So we close the application on the 1st of July and we will be having a MENA pitch competition and this time it will be a high physical event and hopefully hybrid as well if there's required on the 1st of September where the top 15 applicants will come in to do a pitch to a jury panel. Again, the learning doesn't stop there. Like what Khatija has mentioned, there will be one-to-one -one mentoring and an accelerator program for three months preparing the winner as well as three runner-ups to be able to participate in the global finals and to be able to make an impact. And the global finals will have about 40 uh, chap, uh, applicants coming together to pitch. It will be held in Dubai and uh, it's going to be an event that is going to be even be bigger and better than the previous year. So, it's actually a program, not just, just a pitch competition where it's left to the applicant to have a chance of success. We want to walk them through to have a much better chance of success during their process. So the registrations is open for uh, applications. You can register the interest there. There will be a link on the chat as well. And please do register with your details to get information on the workshops and the clinics that will be announced uh, and be prepared to apply by the 1st of July, 2021. I'd like to thank you all for joining this session today. And if there's any questions, please do put in the chat or the Q&A and we will get back to you as we can, as we go along. PK, uh, could I call you in to close the program and um, offer any kind of closing comments? Hi, thank you. Um, it's, it's, you know, uh, Shamima, on a personal note, this feels so heartening. You know, you know, when we started the Thai chapter, when almost 20 years ago here, you know, I for one never thought we would reach where we have reached. The chapter has become a pretty strong, important chapter in the Thai network as well as as a part of the ecosystem. And I'm very, very proud to see how Thai women has shaped up in less than a year. You know, we should get maybe Anastasia also to join us and talk about of you and Anastasia 
have put together this Thai women program locally and are around us. We were hoping that, um, you know, this year we would break all the records in the number of people who will actually kind of apply. And we get applications from all around the MENA region. And we are working very hard on it. And I'm sure you can probably tell like how far we're going this time and expecting even applications from Africa, correct? That's right. I mean, we have had now interest coming in from Af the whole of Africa, um, not just South Africa. And last year we have had applications from Tunisia, from Egypt, from Bahrain, Oman, Saudi Arabia, and obviously UAE as well. But I think now the interest has grown so much. One is I think there is a big emphasis and also a self awareness for women to want to become entrepreneurs, to want to contribute to the economy, to be able to uh, be entrepreneurial in their work. So I think we're seeing a lot of interest in that. And I think this is going to grow further. So do we have our special guest on? Uh, like, I think we have our special guest. So should I get her in? Do we have her? Yes. So we have a special guest joining us from New York. The special guest, please put your micro uh, camera on and join us. <laughs> Hello. So, uh, okay, uh, Shamima, you want to introduce our special guest? Yes, I would love to. Thank you. And an excellent and uh, empathetic leader, um, a very spiritual person, um, a single mom, and a very good friend of mine. I'm so very pleased to introduce Dr. Desai here to give a closing comments. Thank you so much, Amima. Uh, you know, the, it's electric, the energy that Dubai has. It, every single contact that I've had in the last one year it's becoming more and more magical. It's, it's absolutely amazing. It's all thanks to this formidable team, uh, starting from you and Anastasia, uh, Sicily, um, Ashish, Ziad, PK, who's you know, like our uh, omnipresent uh, sounding board, uh, you know, always available for any advice and for any direction. So I'm deeply grateful to everyone uh, for giving us a wonderful culmination uh, for the 2020 program for Thai women, which as all of you know, was our debut year. It was just absolutely fantastic. Um, and as they say, you know, there is no rest, uh, uh, you know, for the restless. So we're looking at uh, a fantastic 2021. Again, thanks to all of your support. Um, we are looking at now close to 35 chapters globally. Last year, we had 26 chapters participating in our culmination. Uh, as Shamima has explained so beautifully about the program, uh, the new highlights, you know, we are trying to uh, make sure that the impact for us, for women entrepreneurs um, across the globe is addressing all kinds of needs. Um, wherever we can help with our very, you know, rich resource that we have in Thai Global, uh, tapping into our mentor pool, uh, tapping into workshops, accelerators, uh, firms that we work with, venture capital firms, etc. Uh, to bring all of this in a very structured manner, uh, you know, programmatically for all the chapters. So 35 chapters is what we're looking at this year. Uh, we've onboarded some new regions as well, uh, including, uh, you know, uh, Pakistan, the UK, uh, Germany, uh, Canada, etc. Uh, besides, of course, the US, India having a large contingent as well. So we're super thrilled, uh, you know, for uh, this year, of course, again, uh, coming uh, to Dubai for the uh, you know, for the finals, for the grand finale, as we call it. Um, idea is that, um, you know, this, you know, we say that it's, it takes a village, but in our case, it's many villages that has, uh, you know, uh, brought this uh, amazing uh, movement uh, uh, along for us. And it's thanks to great leadership everywhere. None of this, of course, is possible if we're not creating, uh, creating an impact for the startups themselves. So we're always looking for feedback, I'm personally very gratified and very, uh, it's very heartening to see uh, some of the finalists from last year taking on leadership roles in their local chapters. Uh, for example, the Dallas winner from last year now is the chapter lead for Dallas for Thai women. 
this is the wonderful thing about what we do, the paying forward that we are doing. And therefore, the numbers, you know, will keep growing. Um, you know, so from last year, uh, 2,200 applications, I know we're easily going to cross, uh, you know, 3,000 applications this year. But it's not just about the pitch competition alone. It's really about how we can help, you know, even the grassroots entrepreneur, uh, someone who is just starting their journey and therefore we've uh, and we, uh, you know we also want you to be involved in all the web series and everything that we're doing our mini connect series for speakers to keep you motivated and like shamima said you know go back to the drawing board and be able to tell us that thai women truly helped you know my enterprise whatever shape or size it came from so for us that's the big achievement that's what we enjoy the company is terrific i promise you every single person that you'll come across for thai women is a version of shamima a version of anastasia and of course, a version of, you know, uh, PK and Thank you. everyone as well. And, and me as well, of course. Thank you, Shamira. <laughs> Dati, um, could we have a group photo before we finish? So let's yes, ask yes. Um, Inji and uh, Shivani and Khatija also to turn on yes. Anastasia. Yes. Yes. Thank you. And uh, are we doing the T and the W or <laughs> group photo? <laughs> Okay, and I think um, I think Sicily has got uh, her camera off because they see Thai Dubai in there instead yes. of Sicily. So, okay, you, ready? You're going to do the honor? No, somebody is going to do the honor, but I'm taking a picture anyway. <laughs> I'll do it. <laughs> I did that. Everybody look and smile. Got it. Thank you so much, you. everybody, thank for being here. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you very you. much, everyone, for attending. And thanks evening. to all of the panelists. Thank, thank you. you.